This is the Barrington Meeting House, and uh, actually going through it, it's such a small building, and uh, they couldn't think of any like really significant meetings that might have taken place. Is I think the real reason why I was so excited to check this place out uh, was because when I'm thinking of meeting houses, I'm thinking of like uh, in American history, like the Revolution, when they were all meeting together to to cast that vote for independence. So I'm thinking, like, was there any big meetings that happened here like that, you know, for Barrington independence? Or maybe they debated uh, when Nova Scotia joined uh, the Confederation? Because Nova Scotia got a pretty raw deal, so it wouldn't surprise me if there was a meeting here where they all screamed and yelled about how bad an idea it was, and some people screamed and yelled about how good an idea it was. Alright, so here we have the old meeting house. Uh, which was initially uh, a church and meeting place for the local government before the separation of church and state, which was, I don't know, 1860. But uh, you can tell it's been, uh, I don't know what you call it, re shingled? Oh, well, maybe it's just paint. Actually, this is really cool. Imagine peeking in here during an important meeting. Oh, 1765, so it's very old. Hello! Alright, so here we have, as you can see, you'd be looking down on uh, whatever, you know, the priest or politician who was talking to you would be up there. and An interesting pew set up where every single pew's got its own little door. But, uh, uh, apparently some of the graffiti here is actually from... kick out of the fact that each pew has its own little door. His collection plates had to, I guess they couldn't walk through the aisle, so they had to hold it down on a stick, make sure they got their money. Can I go up the thing? Yeah. Awesome. Wow. Yeah, being up here definitely makes me want to pontificate.
Alrighty, so the reason why there's doors, or at least part of the reason, uh, was to keep heat in, so your whole family would be bundled up. You'd bring your dog and have him at your feet, and then uh, yeah, the doors would help uh, keep the heat from escaping, because uh, up until a certain point, there wasn't any other source of heat. <laughs>